Welcome to a new test and teardown video. This time, yeah, it looks like an oscilloscope, but it's an S and W, Copenhagen, Denmark mini scope, and I think it's for some hospital something EEG. And that is something to do with heart pulses. Oh, look, it is very, very old. And it's quite heavy, actually. We got some patient CS. Why is what is that output? And uh, fuse charge, charge voltage. And then the model number is MS65. And look at that funny, funky mains power connector. And somebody modified this. Is quite nice modification. That would definitely work. I'm a little bit worried about this charge voltage. So my first move is definitely let's open this and do a little bit of inspection. So how do I open this one? There is a, oh yeah, yeah, look at that. I think we'll just try and take out the screws here at the bottom. Ooh, this looks like we got batteries inside that leaked or something like that. This could also, yeah, explains the charge stuff. Oh, yo, yo, this is gonna be bad. I already, I already feel it. I got to blow a fuse here or something because I think that I figured it out. So I loosened those four screws and now all oh, this can move, but it's not coming anywhere because it's stuck somewhere down here and I can't unscrew these, but I can also look through the back and I can still see electronics and all that stuff in here. This, all this is not moving at all. Ah, oh, maybe I need to, oh yeah, look at that. So I'm trying to see. Also got ooh, that was the power supply. Look at that. So yeah, we are slowly getting in, but yeah, not easy. And we are now inside. Oh, you gotta see this. This whole unit is full of white, nasty corrosion. So it's like really, really bad. And here's the power supply. So <laughs> Look at that. These are not disabled. So when you plug in <laughs> the mains, then these are dangerous. When you stick your fingers behind here to plug some cables and stuff. Wow, 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 wow. So that is nasty as yes. can be. I guess this is a transformer or a power supply of some sort, right? And then, yeah, you see the red and the pink, they go into that one. So that's probably the transformer. It's been modified quite a lot and again, full of corrosion. Oi, 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 we need to clean this a lot before we dare to try and power this up and that will be the edge connector to the rest of the unit hopefully that will be low voltages it looks like it right and then let's look at the scope unit oi, oi, oi. that is some funky construction we got a lot of modifications that one is an input amplifier or some stuff yeah, looks a little bit like it, right? And then that will be the a circuit board here. And there's another one missing. And all the screws for all the circuit boards, they have been forgotten. Look at that. And if we look at the... Oh yeah, that will be the high voltage power supply, that one to the left. Deflection, that will be deflection, I guess, right? And again, 
circuit boards not mounted and that was the reason I couldn't pull it out because the boards they went this way and they grabbed on the top parts so I couldn't get it out so I was able to stick in something here and then bend down or angle this board and then I could carefully slide it out yeah I, there's a lot of cleaning but look at that we still got the S and W logo I'm not able to find any other names or anything else or, or other than this is that a DPE and then 12163 is also written here and here it says 12162 so that's obviously the numbers for the different uh, circuit boards we got a little bit of sweep generator we got some names and we got some see they're putting nice information on the circuit board so that is quite nice and in here we got some sort of a high voltage power supply thingy look it's mounted inside a uh, styrofoam box I can't oops I can't wait to look what this is all about yeah interesting so I've been cleaning a little bit here and this is the sweep circuit board it's fascinating the layout definitely done by hand see by wrapping sheet on a transparent piece of plastic and then you'll see yeah, all those tracks <laughs> isn't that just fantastic and you can imagine a, a few versions had to be done on a piece of paper first and get the idea about how you lay this out it's just amazing and then add text here by hand writing <laughs> I love it so that will be this sweep and horizontal amplifier using a little mix of germanium and silicon transistors I still haven't figured out how to get that board out it is completely stuck due to this piece in here not being able to pull this up it kind of hit the tube so how do I get this out because I want to see what is inside this <laughs> yeah so here that is the left side and that left side board is the vertical amplifier I guess there's another little preamp here maybe they made this into a more regular scope sort of maybe that is the modification we see here well, they made this with stiff wires so you need to be really really careful moving around with this board so here is the little secret compartment of what is going on <laughs> and it really smells bad here because I had to desolder this and then there was a side plate here and some rubber bands that's completely dissolved so what is going on in here why do we want something to be burning hot in here I think this is the high voltage power supply or something like that but why would you like it to be warm that is something I don't understand but I'm not giving up that easy so there's a wire soldered to its case what the heck is going on here and it is in a socket oh well, we got a really dodgy fuse down there well, well I'm digging my way in here slowly got some wires doing some stuff there I don't know that is some weirdo weirdo thingy here right so I was able to remove all that kind of stuff and uh, get in here so now I think I figured this out I think this is 
the high voltage oscillator or generator in a plug-in kind of module for for scopes like that and then it is making an annoying sound and that is why they put it into a little isolation chamber not to heat it up but to isolate all the noise so we see some modifications down here with some extra capacitors well, look at that this screw instead of removing this screw and replacing it they took in here and a tweezer or something and then bent it and then they could have uh, room for this capacitor <laughs> I lifted up this uh, board a little bit, but it's normally standing down here, scratching its way half the way through the isolation here. So this is real nice. And uh, this one here was just hanging freely in here. So this is obviously uh, some cables going to uh, the other module that is not used. So instead of cutting away all this, see, that is not in use. It's just uh, having a easy, potential short and problem here but I think I can get this module out there's just another little thing I have a black wire here that's soldered to a resistor and this one I should probably desolder first so I don't break it so I got this unit out and that is definitely a little high voltage generator and it's fully potted it's quite a uh, heavy the fun thing is that when they painted this gray they also painted all the pins so I had to clean them really nice and fine to uh, create a good contact in the socket and uh, that is uh, definitely what is going on here on this uh, circuit board that is the socket and uh, I think that will be uh, I think maybe all the oscillator and drive and such is inside that module because I don't see a lot of all the real nasty high voltage stuff. We got some high voltage resistors here, and this is the anode, so that's probably focusing and uh, focuses or brightness control is here. So, yeah, we got some diodes as well. Well, well. I think I'll try and clean this up a little bit more and then I will put it back together and let's see if there is any luck getting a picture on this thing. So let's dim the light and let's try. I guess this is the on off switch. So let's just try first and crank up the power supply. That is 2.3 watts of idle in the power supply. So let's try and 9 watts I do hear some so that is the high voltage generator you can hear it's why is it not so we hear something but we don't see anything at all maybe it's because we don't have a sweep or something and there isn't any position 10 where are we well well that was disappointing i'll try and put in some some signals and see what's going on here i think i got a major break through it turns out this uh, power supply module there's something wrong here so it's not able to supply the filament uh, power or something is wrong with the filament output so what I did is I disconnected the filament output here and uh, connected an external 6 volt AC source and now look what happened Let's try and turn this uh, thing on. Look at that. So here's my little... I can of course change the 
voltage for a little bit more deflection. Let's go to the other one, give it a little bit more deflection like that, right? So, the way that they made this, they used these two inputs for X and Y input. So this is just a little X, Y scope. So that's all there is about it right now. <laughs> we got a picture on it. But we can see that the CRT is clearly worn out. We got some really, really nasty dark lines. And it's super, super dim. The high voltage is just barely making it to this point. But anyway, I got it up and running. And that is exactly what I wanted. So <laughs> maybe I will save this for a later project. But uh, that is the state of where we are right now.